Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Wangari, the Israeli Kenyan farmer, and I am here today to help you avoid doing the silly and basic mistakes that I have done over my three years experience in farming. The first and the most basic mistake is selection of a crop. So the question we are going to answer today is what determines the kind of crop you need to grow. And the first thing that you need to consider is the value of your crop. This is dependent to the market. Do you want to plant a crop that will give you more money or less money? And generally, if you're doing it for business, agriculture for business, you will want high value crops. Uh, an example is the money that you can get for tomatoes is most likely not the same money you can get from maize. You need to understand the value of the crop when it comes to the market. The other thing that you need to understand is the labor intensity of a crop. There are some crops that are labor intensive, yet some are less labor intensive. And the labor intensive crops mean that you need to have a lot of money for the labor that is needed to have that crop and the fertilizers and the chemicals. So they're a little bit more expensive than the less labor intensive crops. But um, most likely if the market is okay with you, you're going to get more money from the labor intensive crops than the less labor intensive crops because the labor intensive crops, most of the time they have a duration of three months and the less labor intensive crops will give you a duration of around eight or one year before you harvest. Another thing that you need to understand is the long, the length of the growing period that you want. Um, some crops, say bananas or arrow roots, will take you even close to one year before you start harvesting. But once you harvest, you have to wait for another almost one year before you harvest the fruit again so this crop that is long term is good for your farm you can dedicate say along the paths of your farm paths of your farm or a section of the farm and do the long-term crops because um say for example bananas in one year you're going to be able to sell the banana itself and also you're going to be able to sell the suckers and the, in the kind of capital you've put in is not much but meanwhile, if you need to raise capital before the one or two years are over, you need to go for the short-term kind of crops. Say, for example, uh, cherry tomatoes, there's capsicum, there's onion, there's, um, there's brassica family. All those crops have three or four months. The thing about these crops is that they need a lot of capital to get them done. If you do not have the capital, you go for now the lesser duration crops. For example, I'll give Dania. When you take it to the market, it will not give you a lot of money, but it will give you the money you need to buy the chemicals, say for spraying the nyanya or for weeding on your onion farm or for uh, supporting and trending in your in your greenhouse. So uh, the short term crops, the, the likes of dania can be used to substitute the capital that is needed to have uh, the likes of uh, the labor intensive kind of crops. Another thing that is point number four that you need to understand is the market trends. You need to understand when certain commodities are an influx in the market and when they are not available. If you do your game right, you should start your research. You should start uh, your agriculture with a research to production, not production to market. So you go to the market and find out when certain crops have more money and with this you can be able to now backdate yourself and know if i'm if i want to have my tomatoes ready in january date five i need to do my nursery in november not doing your nursery then starting to find for the market when it's too late and you will find a bad prices at that point another thing that you need to understand is what a crop rotation is aha uh -huh. You need to understand uh, the previous crops that you had, the crops that you want to do now, and is it possible to rotate your crop? And this I will tell farmers, this is a mistake I have made. If you see a certain crop has given you a lot of money, please do a, a, a clear rotation program for it. Do not want to do nyanya four or five times because it has given you money. Because what you're going to do is you're going to kill yourself, you're going to have bacteria built up in the soil you're going to have nematodes in your soil you're going to have some harmful fungicides in your harmful fungicides in your soil so you need to understand what a complete rotation is last but not least you need to do 
to understand your climatic conditions because uh, some varieties do well in colder areas or hotter areas or things like that you need to understand once you have understood this this is followed by a soil test so guys stay tuned in my next video we are going to be doing a soil test please guys like subscribe and share and if the, this is not clear please comment in the section below and we're going to answer the question